share some of those uplifting stories from home this morning, including what one father's experience was like. Makia. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Tony. Good morning to all of you at home. You know, we've heard so many stories about people who've contracted the coronavirus, including some of our favorite celebrities. So I wanted to take this morning to just focus on some of those stories of triumph, courage, and victory to spread some hope and to raise awareness. There are plenty of recovery stories out there. So let's start here. Take a look. The nurses and the first responders, man, you guys are amazing. You're risking your life for us. And an emotional post about his journey to recovery. I made it, you know, but we need to shift the attention to the people that need the help and that are dying alone. TV host and comedian Michael Yo bared his soul this week about the fight against COVID-19 and pneumonia at the same time. Yo spent eight days in the hospital without family or friends. The love, the prayers, man, meant a lot. To all my comedian friends for reaching out <clears throat> while I'm laid up in the hospital, sending me corona jokes. <laughs> I loved it. One was so funny, I spit up blood. To the district. How are you feeling? And certainly in terms of my mind and heart, uh, a million times better than... Reverend Timothy uh, Cole shared news that made us all smile this week. He reunited with his family after three weeks in the hospital. Cole was the first person who tested positive for the coronavirus in D.C. His congregation had to self-quarantine. As I was lying in that hospital room wondering what was going to happen, I, I just knew... God was going to see me through. And in the city that never sleeps. I had the ability to spend a bit more time with my family and see them and, uh, and appreciate them. David Moreno, a 32-year-old father of three, says he's days into recovery as well after contracting the coronavirus. Started with a uh, bit of a pain in the center of my chest. Moreno was never hospitalized, but says he self-quarantined at home in Brooklyn when he started feeling symptoms like chest pain, fever, and fatigue. Slowly, I guess, progressed and got worse from there. Um, eventually, I found myself having trouble breathing, um, close to no appetite, lost my sense of smell and taste, um, and I was pretty much immobilized. But after two weeks in the trenches, Moreno says he feels like a new man. You know, it's just so good to hear these stories of people who are feeling so much better. It just goes to show it doesn't matter who you are, where you live, or just what your job is. You know, Moreno's a CEO of a nationwide home warranties business. Yo's a celebrity. And then you have, you know, a faith leader. It just goes to show it doesn't matter who you are. No one is immune from this. So if you like more information on how you can better protect yourself or what you should do if you start to feel some symptoms uh, while you're at home, I've tweeted some more information out from the CDC at Makia Turner TV on Twitter. And of course, we're going to get more information up for you online in just a bit. Reporting from my home, Makia Turner. Annie, we're going to send things back to you.